It seems like Microsoft is going to integrate ChatGPT into its upcoming office suit. Microsoft's office suit is a pretty big product that they have. They have millions of customers around the world. So they are going to improve the product even further and get a competitive advantage over Google by introducing ChatGPT functionality. I mean, Google's online document convenience, which is available for free, you know, like Google Docs, Google Sheets, they've been causing a lot of problems to Microsoft because students and other people just use Google Docs nowadays. So it looks like they're going to improve their Microsoft editor comprehensively using OpenAI's tools. And not just that, it seems like they're going to integrate ChatGPT's function into Bing as well, you know, their search engine. Bing is nowhere close to Google. No one really uses Bing because its search results are not very accurate, but that could change. I mean, Google has their own basic AI model called Lambda, which is integrated into Gmail and stuff, but they only give you basic suggestions such as a person's name when you're writing an email or complete those basic sentences. In other words, autocomplete. Microsoft is planning to go much further than that. We don't exactly exactly know the true scale of what exactly they have in mind, but this could be exciting. It's no secret that Microsoft is a big investor in OpenAI. Back in 2019, they had invested over a billion dollars. So needless to say, they have a lot of leverage over OpenAI's tools and a lot of belief in the future as well. And it also shows that they are doubling down on their own search engine. You know, they are not abandoning Bing. Maybe the Microsoft Edge browser will be one of the only ways by which you can access ChatGPT for free. You know, who knows? Right now, we are in that research preview, which is free. It may not remain free after all because millions of people are already using chat gpt and it's not free to maintain that thing you know it costs real money to maintain the servers so to account for the operational cost they might introduce pricing at some point so microsoft users will have an advantage maybe with a lower price or maybe a chat gpt subscription will be included with a purchase of say microsoft office i see that as a possibility you know if you want chat gpt it might make sense to just buy the microsoft office bundle so that chat gpt comes along with it you don't have to maintain a separate license buy one version like 2021 or 2022 and that's it you can use it forever i'm not sure but maybe that that's what they might do given that they are a huge investor reports claim that we can see these changes as soon as march of 2023 so that's not too far ahead there have been some concerns that you know there's been mass layoffs across all tech giants microsoft included so how will these layoffs affect these chat gpt integrations we are not sure yet but they still seem pretty confident with their march rollout who knows i mean as long as chat gpt is free, I don't think anyone will switch to Microsoft's integration to it. But once this becomes paid, I think that's when Microsoft products will really take off because people who are on the fence of buying it will buy it anyways so that you're getting ChatGPT alongside it. I mean, I kind of feel ChatGPT is a little overrated. Um, I don't think it's worth paying separately. So even I would do the same thing. You know, I would just buy the latest Microsoft Office suit because I kind of use it sometimes. It would be nice to have ChatGPT built in. So yeah, that's one less license. But anyway, what do you think? Like, of course, I'm sure you have used ChatGPT by now. Do you think it's a valuable addition to Microsoft's Office suit? Let me know.